Hey guys, this is Kyle. I'm back with an unboxing video for you today. Actually, I have a couple of them. This will be the first one. This is Ys Foliage Ocean in Salsetta. One of the worst names ever. Um, but yeah, Ys Salsetta for the PlayStation Vita. I have here the Ys 25th Anniversary Pack. You see there. Uh, and to its left here, this is a telephone card that I received for reserving the game. It's kind of strange to have a telephone card as a reservation uh, bonus, but actually they do it pretty often here in Japan. Uh, there's nothing really on the back of the phone card here. It's just a magnetic card. But on the front here, you'll see that they do like character art. So they do that with a lot of games here. People just like to collect them. So anyway, that's really it for the phone card there. Uh, here's the box of the game itself. There's the front. Kind of see how thick it is there. You got the back there. Pretty typical, just showing screenshots and art. It lists the special, uh, the special items inside. Obviously, the game is in here. We've also got the drama CD, uh, which comes pretty standard with Falcom Special Editions. We've also got a music CD here, uh, filled with old East music. And if you know anything about the East music, or if you know anything about the East series, you probably know the music. Uh, so there's a special CD in here. Uh, it's also got a cloth cleaner, which is um, a map of Adel's adventures, basically. And uh, the fourth thing is there's a, a calendar in here featuring art from with the heroines of the East series. So we'll open it up and check that out. There you go. There's the box. I did bring a box cutter this time because these things can be a pain to open. Try to do it without cutting the box, obviously. There we go. All right, plastic off there. Let's go ahead and open it up. how it looks inside. A couple things sticking out here. First, why don't we pull the game out. There is the game, East Salsetta. Uh, this is just a normal box for the game. So if you just go and buy the game itself, this is what you're gonna get here. Back cover there, obviously the front. Let's go ahead and open this guy up as well. Take a look inside. It's always interesting when I buy games these days to see if there's an instruction manual or not inside. Uh, I'm kind of a fan of them still. Obviously I realize that their use is pretty much obsolete with digital instruction manuals now. And I mean, let's face it, games these days all have built-in tutorials and stuff anyway. But I still like them. Uh, I'm a big fan of the art and stuff like that. So, open this up here. That's what it looks like. There's the game itself, and it does look like we have some sort of instruction manual here. Yeah, we do. There you go, so there's the instruction manual. Awesome. Full color. Only way to be. Looks like it just introduces the characters. Talks a little bit about the setting. So it doesn't even go into how to play the game. Obviously, that's all built into the digital instruction manual uh, with the game. Anyway, there you go. There's the game. Close that up, put it aside here. Moving on, it's the drama CD that came with it. You see it says the prologue on there. Uh, if you don't know what a drama CD is, uh, it's basically a, a music, not a music CD, but a CD uh, with just a drama on it. The characters talking and maybe going on an adventure talking with each other. Uh, it's not really something that's been explored much in the West, as far as I know. There's not a lot like that, but these are actually pretty big over here. Uh, it's easy for them to do kind of a side spin, uh, a spin-off of anime or games by just making a drama CD. So they have these for a lot of games, actually, to add extra stories and stuff like that to the game's lore. So since this is called the prologue, I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is something that happens before the actual game starts. Open this up. Oh, 
here's the back for you too. So obviously they use all of the, uh, the, the same voice actors that are in the game itself. And they get them in there and they record these, these drama CDs. Alright. Obviously there's not much to it. Got a little registration card in there. On the drama CD itself, not really sure how well you can see it there, but uh, again it's the character art. You've got the main characters of the game on there in green. Very cool. We'll close that up. And that to the pile over here. Moving on, got a couple of things left in here. Here is the ECD. Flip it over, there's the CD itself. Go ahead and get this opened up for you as well. Ah, this will be easier. So this is one of the 25th anniversary items here. So obviously you've got the CD in there. The cover of which looks just like this. And if we open this up, we've got a listing of all the tracks here. So there's 14 tracks, basically from all of the past East games. Pretty cool. So yeah, you got some of the some of the more popular songs on here, but there's also a couple others that yeah kind of come together to make it a pretty nice CD. So there you go. Put that back in there. All right, two more things in here. We'll pull them out. This looks to be the cloth map. It does say Adel's World Map there in the top corner. It is a cloth cleaner, but doubles as a, as a map, of course. So I'm pretty sure this thing is quite large. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, more like a map than a cloth cleaner really because of how large it is. There you go. So that's pretty cool. So obviously you've got Asteria up here. So Salsetta is going to be over here, which is where this game takes place. Felgana up here. There you are. So yeah, all the popular locales from Adel's Journey on a cloth map that also doubles as a screen cleaner. Pretty sweet. And the last thing in the box here is the Heroines Calendar. This was something that they actually kind of announced later than all of the other stuff. I guess fans were just looking for a little more. So they announced that they were going to do this calendar. So let's go ahead and open this up, take a look inside. There's a stand in the back here. So the way this works is you just flip whichever one to the front, obviously for the month. So there's kind of the base. There you go, you got Karna there. She's from Celsetta here. So it starts in September. So obviously you just slide this in here and this stands up. It's kind of like a desk calendar. There's Karna. Diesa and Kan Lirica, also from Celsetta. That's October. Into November, you've got Rhea from East 1 and 2. Tia and Maya from East 7. Fina and Rhea, again 1 and 2. Zava and Bami. 
from Origin, uh, as well as Celceta here with Bami, I think. Ah, and this is the back here. Nothing really on there. Um, but the others are actually on the back end of these. There we go. There's Fina, obviously from East 1 and 2. Terra and Nina. Terra being from E6, Nina is from E5. Elena from Felgana. Ola and Isha from, uh, from 6, Pishtim. Lilia from 1 and 2. And Team Altago, girl's side. So this is E7. Uh, so you got Aisha, Mishera, and wow, they're there. <laughs> Krish. Kirish, maybe. There you go. From E7. Yeah, so that's all of them for the calendar there. So there you go. Had the calendar, the map, the music CD. Obviously, the game itself. Drama CD, uh, as well as that phone card bonus reservation in the box. That looks to be the whole thing. Uh, I know a lot of you are pretty interested in East, so I will make sure that I get a video of the game itself going up for you soon. I've got one more thing to film an unboxing for, and then I'm going to get playing. So I hope you enjoyed. See you later. Thanks.